Hey, it's Greg, WJ6F. Today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways to program the Quan Shang UVK5 radio, and we'll get to it right after this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to program this radio from the front end. We're going to do a simplex as well as a repeater. First thing you want to do by pushing the function button and then going to number three to make sure that you're in the VFO mode. First thing we're going to need to do though, go into the menu, go to number two, and we're going to change our step. Hit the menu again, and if you don't do it fast enough, it will kick you out. And we'll use 2.5 and then exit out. Or you can just wait and then again, it'll kick you out. One, four, six, five, two, zero is the frequency we want. Go back in and reset that. And there you go. Now we're going to go back in the menu and we're going to scroll down and we're going to make sure that everything is set the way we need it. Here's all your CTCSS for receive and transmit. Make sure those are off. And we want to make this, sure this is zero. Make sure our shift direction, we are at off and not at positive or negative. And now we're going to save it. We're going to go to memory channel number two. Once you find the channel you want, and you can press and hold these to move it in either direction quickly. It's going to verify that that's what you want to do. Hit it, and there you go. Exit back out. Hit shift to three to take you to memory, and there you can see we're in memory channel two. Now to add a tag, you'll have to do that through the computer programming software. And I'll show you how to do that a little later on. Now let's do a repeater real quick. Go back into VFO. Enter the frequency, 145220. Then go into menu. We're going to go back up to where we saw the CTCSS. We want 103.5. And again, you can also hold the up and down arrows to go through them quickly. Lock it in. Now we're going to go down we're going to change our shift and this one's negative. And then we need this 0 0.600. And lock that in. If you've got all that done, now we're going to go store this. In this case, we want memory channel 15. Lock it in. Yes, we're sure. Back out. Go back into memory. And there you have it. I'm going to show you how to program a few frequencies by using the programming software. It is a Windows-based software. Unfortunately, you can't use Apple yet, and I have not seen it on Chirp. One of the things you're going to need is you just need any old Baofeng programming cable that you might have lying around. You want to go to qsfj.com. Then at the top, you're going to go to Service and Support, Download Center. Scroll down to the Analog Radios. Find UVK5 down here on the bottom left. Click that. Gives you a little picture of it so you know you're on the right radio. Tells you what languages they come in. Gives you a catalog a manual, the programming software, which is what we're going to need. If you need to do firmware updates, they have those too. And a China certificate. Go ahead and download your firmware, and then go ahead and get it all installed on your computer. Once it's all installed on your computer, go ahead and open it up. Make sure you have your radio all connected. You'll know it's properly connected because the light that shows transmit and receive will be blue. You're going to go to settings, 
hit COM setting and choose whichever COM port you're on. In my case, it's COM7. You're going to go over here to channel, memory channel. Click on that. Read in, so you can read from the radio. And this should bring up the frequencies that we've already programmed in. And you can put uh, channel names in them now. First one we'll enter in, we'll do a simplex channel. First we'll change the name here. What you do is you double click on it and it gives you everything you need. We want national call. That's the only thing we're changing on here. You can double check high power, receive tone type. It gives you some other options. Click OK. Next one we're going to do is just simplex one. And that is 146.550. We want high power. We don't have to worry about the tones. This is where you'll change it so that you can enter the PL tone if needed. Got everything on there handled, click OK, and there you are. And we'll just leave this where it is. This is the Claire repeater. And you see on here you have your receiving channel and your transmit channel. And you're going to have to enter those separately. It won't do it for you automatically unless you're programming it from the front. Shows you the tone tone type and you have your choices of none, CTCSS, DCS reverse, and then over here for your send subaudible tone, you pick whatever PL tone you want. And we want 1035, click OK. And now we're stored in there. Next one we're going to do, put this up here in 14. We want the MESAC channel, which is down in Costa Mesa. The receiving frequency is 147.060. Our sending frequency is 147.660. High power. Receive tone, don't need to worry about that. Yes, we do need to send a tone. And we want 100. Once you got everything in there that you want, click OK, and you're all set. That's all there is to it for putting in simplex and repeater frequencies. If you want to change some of the settings on the radio, you can start with the function key, and these are the side keys. You can change those to several different things. This is for the short press for the side key one and two, and long press. In fact, we'll change this one. Turn that to the FM radio. Then go down to common settings, and this is pretty much your menu. Like I have the backlight set to off, and it can go all the way up to five seconds. And we don't need to listen to the beep. Squelch level, we'll change that to three. It gives you all the different things. If you want NOAA weather channels on your scan. Right here, the frequency channel display mode. If you wanted to show the frequency or the channel name, this is where you'll click that. This is your Vox. Dual watch. You can change the logo. Logo. You can change your mic gain. Once you're all done, go ahead and exit out of there if you want, or you can leave it up. And then to program everything back to the radio. Click right out. And that's all there is to it for programming with using the software. It's in it. Simple software, not much to it. But there's also a part down here for your radio frequency. You can input one that you want. We'll use KLOS out in Los Angeles and also 93.1. 
and then again you would hit write out to program all that in. Okay, the third way we're going to program these radios is we're going to use one radio to program the other. This is a handy feature that this radio has should you have two or more of these radios. And it's really easy to do. What you're going to do when you turn on the power is you're going to hold the bottom function button and the PTT at the same time. And you'll do that on both the receive radio and the transmit radio. So push and hold the bottom function button and the talk, push to talk button. And then turn the power on. Let's see how it says air copy. Now what you're going to, want to do is enter a frequency that you can use. And we're going to use 147500. And when you're done with that, you hit the exit button for the receive radio. And that says air copy. And it will show you how many you've received and how many errors there are. Now we'll do the transmit radio. Again, push and hold the bottom function button and the push to talk and turn the power on. Enter the frequency again, 147500. And then for this one, you're gonna press the menu button and it will immediately start transmitting. Okay, it's finished now, and as you can see, it sent 120. It received 119 with one error. So I would turn them off and turn them back on and make sure that everything copied over. Turning it back on. And there they are. We have channel 15, and it goes all the way back down to the national call. Make sure that this one is the same. One of the things I really like about these radios is the fact that you have three different ways of programming them. That coupled with their price, it's a hard radio to pass up. In my opinion, I think it's better than most of the Baofengs out there. I definitely think they're great for a starter ham. They're a great one to keep in your car in case of an emergency. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.